much. Now, of all things, quintessentially British, the Dawn Chorus is quite possibly the soundtrack to the springtime. Love it or hate it, there's certainly no getting away from the chirping and the warbling which wakes us up in the mornings. Or is there? Apparently so, because a number of Britain's songbirds have drastically oh. started to dwindle. In fact, cuckoo numbers are down 59% in the last 42 years. Oh, so, do we like the sound of the dawn chorus, or is it something you could live without? Do you know something? I absolutely love it. Do you? Yeah, and on a Monday morning when I'm coming here, because I get the really early morning train, and actually this Monday, as I was waiting for the cab to pick me up, I opened the front door and you could hear it all. And of course I went, oh, because Jake comes with me, my son, and I went, oh, Jake, listen to that. <laughs> and of course he's 16 and he went, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Mum. I love it. I love I it. And love it. we had that lovely weather week, week before last, and, and it was that dawn chorus, and it has that sort of smell of summer and everything that goes with it, and it was just so exciting, because I think that no matter where you are in the world, even if you're by a beautiful beach with a lapping, sort of lapping waves and everything, there is something about that quintessentially British sound of the, of the birds don't and, you and everything. Hear it even though, like a bird? No, I was going to say, when I don't... <laughs> well, in, in my wilder days, when I was coming home, I wanted to shoot all the birds when yeah. it was the <laughs> And but, you don't uh, like birds. Well, I'm, I like to see birds at a distance and hear them, but I would rather have a rat in my house than a, than a trap bird in my house. <laughs> I'm Remake terrified. Birds, I will not be Tippy Hedron in the birds <laughs> for those old enough to, to, to remember. I love seeing them. We've got, we've got a bird table sort of <clears> right. <throat> the window's here, the bird table's here. And I love watching all the birds in the garden coming and feeding. And we've got a little bird book to identify them all and stuff. And, it's um, really nice. Stan, Stanley, Stanley thinks that he doesn't realise that they're, they're called robins. He thinks they're called Roberts. Oh. So he, say, he keeps saying, Roberts on the bird table. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we take it all for granted, but I couldn't, because I'm a farmer's daughter, of course, but it was very exciting finding birds' eggs and things like that, you know, and we had a bird table, and I got my little book, and... But th that thing about the cuckoos is really quite sad, because if you think about it, when are you going? Where are they going? And, I mean, must it be that all the other birds have heard about the cuckoo in the nest? They're waiting for him now. Bollocks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> for the language of the right honourable MP from Farm. I, I got my animals mixed up. Yes, you did. <laughs> Not bullets. I meant yeah. bullets, actually. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, I did. But, now, listen, do you why think... Have they? Do, do you think, know why as a farmer's daughter, do you think you could... Make friends. Find out what us loose ladies are up to. Just go to itv.com forward slash loose women. We've just got time for one email that I think Linda's got. I've got one here uh, from Christine talking about the G2 like we were talking about. 20. G20. G20, sorry. <laughs> or have they seen have they cancelled? Have they seen Just Linda Bellingham and Barack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Oh, I'll just give up now. Uh, she's... Lunch now of all things...